another science experiment. I hope you've enjoyed the last two. Uh, today we are going to be making elephant toothpaste so we get to play around with some chemistry. It's going to be really fun. Uh, real quick, our number one rule is remember that safety is always comes first. So please make sure you have an adult in the room with you before you do this experiment. Okay? Alright, so question for you first. The word thermo, what do you think that sounds like? It kind of sounds like a thermometer, right? So what does a thermometer do? Well, let's say if you're sick, usually your parents might give might put a thermometer under your tongue and that tells your temperature. It tells them how hot you are, how cold you are, all the things. You can even use a thermometer sometimes in cooking uh, to see how hot or how, whole, or how cold the food is. So if we put the word thermo with chemistry, we get the word thermochemistry. And so in thermochemistry is basically how heat is used in different in different experiments whether whatever the experiment absorbs the heat and makes everything cold or it releases the heat if there is a heat involved in a science experiment it will fall under the term thermochemistry and as you can see here there are two different kinds of reactions that occur in thermochemistry the first one is endothermic reaction and that absorbs heat so if you have an endothermic reaction it's going to absorb all the heat out of that uh, out of that experiment, and it's going to feel cold afterwards, which is really cool. If you have an exothermal reaction, then it will create heat, and the whatever you created afterwards is going to feel warm or hot. Today, we are going to do an exothermic reaction. Now, before you get a little scared because that's a lot of science sciencey words, exothermic reactions actually occur all the time. Usually if there's some kind of combustion involved, then it's exothermic. Like if you create a bonfire or even a fire in your fireplace or whatever um, at your house, that's an exothermic reaction because the fire, the, the materials that go involved to, make the, to create the fire, it makes everything warm around it. Um, if you ever have your, see your parents using a, um, a heating pad, or maybe if you use a heating pad to maybe help with sore muscles or whatnot, that is an exothermic reaction because there are little chemicals in that heating pad that mix up and create it to be warm and hot. Okay, so like I said, today we are going to create an exothermic reaction. Now, a lot of the materials that are used in different reactions, they require us touching, touching chemicals that are not safe to touch. Obviously, we're not gonna be using that today, but please make sure that you have an adult in the room with you anyway. So for our elephant toothpaste, we are gonna be using hydrogen peroxide, yeast, uh, food coloring, dish soap, and warm water. Make sure you warm the water up in a microwave bowl safe cup as well as a measuring cup. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to make it this glass right here, is we are going to pour about half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into our glass. I'm going to measure this out. And then we're going to squirt some dish soap and some food coloring in here. It's not really um, how much food coloring or dish soap you need, so I'm just going to do a little bit because you shouldn't need a lot to have this reaction to work. And food coloring, I'm going to do yellow because I like the color yellow. And once again, you don't need a lot of food coloring because a little goes a long way. So we'll go with two drops. Then in a second cup, you're gonna have warm water and yeast. I already have two tablespoons of warm water here. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of yeast. And we are going to stir it up. This will be clumpy. It is okay if it's a little clumpy, it's not a deal breaker when it comes to science. So you want to stir this up, make sure it's nice and mixed here. And this is where the fun comes in. I'm actually going to put catch some of that there. So now we're going to pour our yeast mixture into here. And this creates elephant toothpaste. All 
Now, if I'm touching this, actually, if I touch it, it gives a really cool kind of feel because it kind of feels like, like almost like kind of like plastic foam a little bit, honestly. And the uh, the glass is actually warm. So obviously, we used warm water, um, and so because the chemicals that we used were not really fancy science science chemicals. Um, it wasn't going to create and the reaction was gonna be super hot, but our glass is significantly warmer than it was before because the hydrogen peroxide and the yeast specifically create an exothermic reaction that releases heat. So that is the experiment. It is super fun to try. As you can see, make sure you have something underneath your glass to maybe catch some more of the reaction so you don't make a mess everywhere. But it is super fun. The instructions for this experiment are gonna be on our Facebook page as well as on our website. Um, so make sure you check them out. Uh, and before we go today, our last announcement is uh, that Science Summer has been canceled, unfortunately. If you've already registered for Science this Summer, then your parents should receive an email with more information. Uh, but thanks very much for joining us today, guys, and hope to see you in the library again soon. Bye!